Hit Film Sensei here. Today in this video, we are going to do this lower third right here. Now, believe it or not, I actually saw this in a video that was produced and created by Verizon. And I thought, wow, that looks pretty cool. And it looks pretty easy too. I think I can do this in the HitFilm Express software for free. So let's do it. Okay, so when examining this flip card lower third, what you can see is, is that they're just cards that drop down on their edge in a 3D fashion. And then in comes the title and the name, okay? So if we count them, we have one, two, three, four, five cards, and they start off blue, dark blue, and then they get lighter and lighter and lighter until they become white. You'll also notice that the title is a gray color, the uh, name is black, and that they kind of come in separately, right? One comes in a little quicker, you know, from a, few, from a closer distance than the other one. So should be pretty easy. So let's uh, make a new composite shot, and we're going to call it Flip card whoops let me make sure i spell it right flip card lower third and i'm going to make this flip card lower third actually three seconds the whole thing actually lasts six seconds and i'll show you why why we're only making it three seconds so we're going to start by making a new plain layer we're going to make sure it's white and i'm just going to call it card uh, and i want it to be the size of the flip card so it's going to be and i measured it 530 by 120 pixels. This is on a 1080, um, you know, kind of HD quality, all right? In the uh, uh, opacity, or in the transform properties here, I'm going to make this three-dimensional, add a camera, uh, and you'll see that right now, if I were just to rotate the X, it would only rotates on its center, but we want it to rotate on its side, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the anchor point and we're going to drop it down to 60 pixels so that way when I rotate it it drops this way now when you you saw it what you saw was was that it actually um, uh, started uh, on top at 180 degrees right and it started with an opacity of zero right and if I keyframe those and then I move ahead 10 frames then I can set this one to 100 and this one to zero okay now I prefer the um, smooth keyframe, so I'm going to convert them to smooth, and so now what we have is shoom, that, and all I have to do is make five of these, okay, but you'll notice that it's white, and what I really want is to make it blue, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, search for fill color uh, effect, and I'm going to drop that effect here in, and then I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to make it a dark blue fill color. So now I have my first card, just like that, okay? So now it's going to be a matter of just duplicating it. So I'm going to hit Control D for duplicate, and I'm going to do that. So I have a total of five cards, all right? Now I'm going to advance five frames, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm using my period key to do that. And then I'm just going to drag this forward five frames. And then one, two, three, four, five more frames, and one, two, three, four, five more frames. And one, two, three, four, five more frames. All right, so now I have a total of five of these cards all dropping like that. But they're all the same color. So what we're going to do is we're going to open them up. And under effects, fill color, I'm just going to change to a lighter color. Okay. And then under this one, I'm going to do the same. Effects, fill color, and I'm going to make it an even lighter color. And then under this one, I'm going to do the same. And it's even going to be a lighter color. And, of course, the last card will be white. So I can just delete that and make it white. And everything is hunky-dory. And now if I look at it, just like that. And that's exactly what it looked like. So now that I have that, all I have to do is add in the um, actual name, right? So from here, I'm going to advance 10 frames where it ends, right? So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then right there is where... Uh, we're going to start dropping in our text. So I'm going to create a new text layer, and I want to make it the same size uh, as the card, which was 530 by 120. Click OK, and I'm going to drag it out here, and I am going to call this card the title. Okay. Uh, and then, just for uh, ease of use, I'm going to drop this down here for a second. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the uh, lettering black. And I'm going to... Actually, that probably won't work, but I will try. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to work. So let me now change it to black so that I can see it. And I can keep typing hit film sensei. I'm going to highlight all of it. I'm going to center it. And I am going to adjust the size of it to 24. Uh, and actually, I want it to be sort of a gray color. Remember, the original one was gray. All right, and now I'm just going to position it to where it's going to end, okay? And now I'm just going to duplicate this. And under this one, I'm going to rename it name, okay? And I am going to lift that one up a bit so that I can see it. And I'm going to highlight it. And I'm going to type in my name. And help if I could spell my name. And then I'm going to make some adjustments. First, I'm going to make it black. And then I'm going to make it the size that it was. It needs to be. And then again, I'm going to make an adjustment on it so that it ends up where it needs to be as well. And I'm going to say about like that is how it's going to end. Maybe the title can come down just a smidgen here. Yeah, that looks pretty lovely. Okay. Now, they've got to drop down. So this is where they're going to end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead 10 more frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I am going to keyframe both of them so that their transform properties position point, is that's where they end. Boom. Okay. Uh, and, of course, I like those smooth keyframes. So here we go. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to back up 10 frames. And then I'm going to lift them both. I'm going to start with this one. And I'm going to lift it way up high. And then I'm going to make that into a smooth keyframe because I love me some smooth keyframes. And then this one I'm going to lift up just high above the thing. And again, I'm going to make it a smooth keyframe. So now when we look at that, as they kind of drop in, it looks like, you know, they come in separately, right? So the first one drops in, and then the second one comes in behind it, right? Okay, now, the problem is, is that you can actually see them up here, right? So if I were to go out onto my editor timeline, drop my footage on here, uh, expand my workspace a bit, and then take my flip card lower third and put it on here, then uh, what you'll see is, is, and then you can see, unfortunately, you can see the names in there. So we got to mask that out. And that is actually very easy to do. What we have to do, uh, and I'll start by doing the name one first, is I'm going to come to the end here. And then I am going to, on the name mask, I'm going to draw a mask here like this. Okay. And then under the masks transform properties position, I'm going to keyframe that. And it needs to be a smooth keyframe. Then I'm going to back up to the position of the first keyframe, and I am going to just drop it down until it matches where it was before. So that way, let me match it there. That way it doesn't move. Oh, wait, I forgot to make it smooth for shame, for shame. So now there it is, and it matches, and it, the, the mask doesn't move. Now I just have to do the same thing on the title one as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is come to where it ends. And then under masks, I'm going to draw this mask, okay, covering where it is. And then under the transform properties of the mask position, I'm going to create a smooth keyframe. I'm going to back up to here. And then under that position, again, I'm just going to slide it down so that it matches and this time I'm not going to forget to do the smooth keyframe. So now it just drops in and it looks very good. And if I come back out to the editor, you can see that it is right there. And it, they definitely are not seen until they drop into the actual card level itself. Okay. Now this just has to be moved. It's obviously in the wrong place. And I actually measured where it is. Uh, and what I discovered, if I pull up the controls tab, and transform and position. I can tell you that the position was negative 650 by negative 310. 
and that's where it was in the original footage so or in the original video so now what we have is zoom and then the name drops and stuff and then it disappears and it's supposed to sit there for uh six seconds but i only have three seconds worth so here's what i'm doing i'm cheating and what i'm going to do is, is i'm going to take that flip card lower third and i'm going to put it right next to the other one actually no better yet i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to paste it and butt it up against it but then you go wait a minute that doesn't work because it drops down and then it repeats and does the whole thing yeah well guess what at the end of it it just goes out in the exact opposite reverse of what it was doing before and so guess what I'm just going to add a time reverse effect to it. Boom. And now it will basically flip down, drop the names in, hold them there for a while, and then push the names out and flip back up. And it's that simple. So that's how you do it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And hey, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.